What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Comically Boston. Today we are going to talk about what happened over the last week. There was some Marvel news that came out. Um, one of my favorite animated shows that was out for a little while, I believe, just had its season finale, which is My Adventures of Superman. I really honestly like the young Clark Kent, Lois Lane, and him falling in love, their friend Jimmy Olsen. You know, like just... I'm, I'm excited for season two, and that did get confirmed, so there should be a season two on the way pretty soon. Uh, we still have a couple weeks left of Harley Quinn, that's also out right now on Max, and uh, that's been interesting stuff as well. But some Marvel news came out, and Echo was originally supposed to be released all in one bundle, uh, all at once, the whatever six episodes were supposed to drop around Thanksgiving. But now, that got moved to early 2024. Um or just 2024, they said. They didn't confirm an actual date. Uh, Agatha, <laughs> her show, from if you remember her from WandaVision, in 2021, it was originally announced Agatha House of Harkness. Then in 2022, it changed its title to Agatha Coven of Chaos. Now, it has changed its title again to Agatha The Darkhold Diaries. So, which one do you like the best? Honestly, I think I like House of Harkness the best um, because her name's Agatha Harkness. But either way, Catherine Hahn is, was great in that role, so I'm excited to see her back. And I heard Aubrey Plaza is in that show, and I believe you know we should see Wanda come back for that show. Um, you know, from the last time we seen her in Multiverse of Madness, so excited for that. Also, they announced that What If season two is coming around Christmas of this year, which is interesting. So maybe they have a Christmas episode or something. There is a rumor that it says Happy Hogan Saves Christmas. So maybe they just have one episode, maybe it's the whole season's Christmas space, but I don't know, I really like Hawkeye, and I really like the holiday special. I really like when Marvel does the holiday stuff, because it's, it works so well, and it's and it's fun. Um, you know, I can't wait to watch Werewolf by Night again around Halloween time, just, the, you know, the spooky vibes, it's nice. Um, but then, also, they announced that X-Men 97, the long-awaited animated TV show that has come will come back is announced that that will be coming out early 2024 so exciting stuff coming our way we're also in the middle of ahsoka right now which is exciting stuff um this guy here merrick he is rumored to be this week in episode four uh rumored that he's going to be revealed who his character is now a lot of people have been saying sam Witwer, um you know star killer from the forced unleashed games I think that's my closest bet, but, I mean, it could be anybody, really. I mean, even if it doesn't get revealed, he could just be Merrick, the guy that wears this helmet, you know? He could just be some random fifth brother or sixth brother and some inquisitor. Uh, all I know is that I want the reveal to be worth it, but maybe it's, you know, maybe it's a nothing berry, you know? Maybe it's something that just doesn't pay off as well as we think it might. Also came out this week season two of power book four force which is tommy's show tommy was probably one of my favorite characters in the original power series he's just always been such a badass uh, i really do like the spin-off shows the power book two ghost with Tariq story that has been really good power book three going back to the 90s uh and telling a young kane in the story and gonna connect the dots there um, Kanan being 50 Cent's character from Power. So, you know, I really like that. But now Power Book 4, Force, just came out September 1st. And Episode 1 was a banger, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm excited to have a show back. Like, I haven't had an actual show back other than Ahsoka, you know. So, this, this is much more up my alley. It's some gangster stuff. I love to watch shows like this. Um, I'm also, you know, pissed about this strike right now. We should be getting, you know, Last of Us Season 2. We should be getting House of the Dragon Season 2. You know, there's a lot of stuff that should be coming out right now that I don't think they can because of the strike and shit. So, and, you know, this show's out. This guy um, that plays Tommy Egan, Joseph Sikora, Sikoi, Sikoi, Sikora. Uh, either way, he's a great guy. He should be, you know, on Jimmy Fallon, Kimmel, going around all those shows and, you know, pitching the show. Some, uh, I bet a lot of people don't even know the show came out. So, I'll fucking promote it. Fuck it, I'm, I'm not in SAG. 
but <laughs> go check out Power if you guys haven't seen the show. Start up Power, the original show. Watch that all the way through. And once you finish that show, you got more Power Universe stuff to watch, which is just great. You know, I like when things that you like expand into more things that you like. You know what I'm saying? Um, with that being said, there's a lot of movie reviews coming this week. We got, I'm continuing, I just started the Planet of the Apes, the most recent Planet of the Apes trilogy. Uh, so I'm continuing that movie reviews trilogy with the sequel, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. The first of the Matt Reeves movies. And that movie is a banger. So stay tuned for that video. I'll talk about all about that. We're also continuing my Marvel movie rewatch with Ant-Man in the, and the, uh, the first one. Not Ant-Man and the Wasp. Not Quantumania. Just the first Ant-Man. And I really like that movie. So we're going to talk more about that in its, its own separate video. And then I'm also continuing my Star Wars movie rewatches. I watched Return of the Jedi last night, and earlier in the week I watched Solo, which I think that movie's criminally under underrated. Um, in the time, people really didn't like it because it wasn't Harrison Ford, but like, it's supposed to be a young Han Solo. It's not supposed to be an old Han Solo, and I really like uh, Alden Enrich. Like, he's he does a good job, and you know, obviously Chewbacca, uh, Donald Glover as Lando. Honestly, I kind of like more than Billy D. Williams. Um, but Lando's always been a good guy. Well, <laughs> good-ish. Uh, good for a scoundrel. <laughs> but comment below your thoughts on those movies. Um, and comment below if you are excited for Ahsoka Episode 4. Because whew, that's a banger of a show, man. I'm just all types of excited. But um, yeah, other than that, not much happened over the last week. Uh, except, you know, a couple people are dying. We got uh, Jimmy Buffett p passed away at 76. The lead singer of Smash Mouth is having liver failure, so he might only have a couple days to live, which is very sad stuff. You know, uh, for me, you know, my generations, I know Smash Mouth a little bit more than I know Jimmy Buffett. Obviously, I know sitting down here in Margaritaville. You know, like obviously we know the song, um, but <laughs> Smash Mouth. You know, hey now, you're a rock star, get your game on, go play. You know, the start of Shrek. You know, like that's I grew up with that shit, so it's very sad stuff. So condolences to those families. Um, and we'll be continuing our Marvel movie rewatch. Next up on the list is Deadpool. Um, over the weekend, you guys saw my Return to the Jedi, or uh, Empire Strikes Back review. And uh, my fan four stick review, and those videos got pretty much more views than I uh, originally intended. So thank you guys for watching those. Uh, happy Labor Day, and uh, I'm gonna make this one short and sweet. And I'll see you guys in the next video Wednesday. We'll be talking more about Ahsoka. So stay tuned for that. Episode four comes out tomorrow night. So very exciting stuff. I'm super excited. And if you like this shirt, go shout out to uh, nerdriot.shop because they got all my favorite nerdy stuff. So. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.